Libra patamo kabelitwa, lebre mando pakatwa, e pamba papa papa kwai, e pranda kwata saila mokami, e papa tua namanta kami, lebra mando pekani, e pato pakaparai, e papa 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 pamea, e baruka manda, lebre bede kwata, e bale kamo swata para, lebra papa peminai, e papa 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 babu. Le prakanda baswata Le fatwana makopele Le papa parata pele Oh Lord God Tonight I thank you Tonight is my night of liberation Tonight is my night of deliverance Tonight is that night where we walk back home free He panda papa banaya He panda papa banaya Le prakamato sakaparai Le prepana kwata saimo komo Le papa paparai He dele komo Sula, Lebra Mando Camele Tuane, Ibracane Suana Mama Macon, Bratana Caparai, Papa Peletoma Cabarata, 
Nothing tonight we escape the hands of God. Nothing tonight we escape the mighty hand of God to set his people free. Abanda bakute beletwa. Have you not heard what Jesus said in the temple? Ought not this daughter of Abraham to be free? For she had been held bound 18 years. Adebakute palata, lepra pana katomele, lepra pane kuatamani. That woman was held bound 18 years by the enemy. But when Jesus came, Jesus said, Had not this daughter of Abraham to be free? Ibalato palaka tomalata, apalata manaka palata be. Tonight I tell you, so is the same Jesus is saying tonight. Abamba papa 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 papa. Ought not my son to be free? He nemoko malasi. He pratona kaparata by. Abanda libra kamele tuani. He pa kaparato palata balai. He praba kaparaka palato melato. Libra pata kabai. He di bata boroto saina. He praka nda bayatone. Libra papa nanta kali. He peleto palata balai. He da bakuta. He prenda sota prana kali. Lepra pa 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 manai, ana pa ne kuata mandele tono, ha pa 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 bo, he pa la pa la kapenato. It doesn't matter how long you have been in that captivity, he pa pa manakabe, lepre meneto la kabalai. It doesn't matter how long, I pa lanto pelika barata bina, ha pa 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 bo. The enemy must have magnified the duration of your captivity but I'm here to tell you tonight the Lord God is longer and has existed much much older than the duration of your captivity can somebody be like Paul and Silas tonight that while they were in the prison yet they were still praying and singing it will look as if they were weird people people in prison people that did not have any hope to be liberated they did not know anybody they did not have any access to maybe any big man of God or anyone in high places Yet they were in prison and they were praying and appreciating God. They were praising the Lord God. Abanda kapalata palata. Can men be like Paul and Silas tonight? Abele kuada bena la branda sai kapalate. In the midst, in the midst of the of the oppression of the enemy, can somebody lift up their mouth to pray and praise the Lord tonight? E palato palaka palai. I need not remind you of that story. Me and you know that at the end of that praise and prayer session, the Bible said there was a violent earthquake in the prison and all the prison doors burst open. Tonight, 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 after the prayer and the praise, 
the prison houses of men will be burst upon. Abala kapala tapalate, lepra basu kapalai, ebranda sai tapakate, lepre beneto barate, ai pada kambala tapalato, ebranda sai tapakabe, lepra banda swaka bababo, lepra banda suke beleto, i palato palato palato, lepa baba danai, e kapa lepra nos kapalato, ebra nekoto palita baruda bahade, lepra bande preke de lebele, lepre bene kabaruda banai, aka bene tuaragane, lepra bana barato palato palato na, e bene to kabalai, e bene to kabeleto, lepra bana kuata meno, i bra bana to bele kuata nakani, i bra ta kabala ta kabala to kabe, la kabana kabala kabala katwa, la bra kata bala kabala katwa, e bra ta kabala to, i bra ta kimana to. He brought a mako to a la cabalata, lepra bana cabalute baruta bana, a prata cote belletoi, he paleto palata palato, a branda suta cabalai, a prata barata cabarata bene. Can somebody pray enough tonight that we cause an earthquake to happen in the prison houses that you have been kept all these years? He bene peruta palata balai, lepre bene to a cabalai, he paneto cabelletto. Barand, he pane pakudi, lepre banaka barato, he pale baruta kamaila, lepre bene koto baruta banate, he pade bando bani, lepre banaka baruta banate, lepre bene tua kapail. Faila manta kale, lepre kada balata kabalata balai. Abande to lute simonante, e ba 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 ba. Ata balata kabalate. Many of you can secure your deliverance even in this prayer session. Abata kabalata balata balio. Lebra ku satan, lebra tama kuatanate. Abada kabalata saita balat, lebra tana balaton. E kemra do sina balai, e pratana balata kabelai. For the Lord. God has spoken his word already. If by faith and by prayer you can comprehend the word of deliverance of the Lord tonight, we can drag it from the realm tonight. And even in this prayer session, men can step into their liberation. Abalata kapale, lebra tama kwata, ebeleto pali, ibrando sute keme, laibrando kame, labra tama kwata nabel. Come and be like Paul and Silas tonight. Ede mene tola, librande sute kebe, labra parata kabela, lepre mina kuata nakuri, lepre pina tuarate, lepe dute peru tofikane, labra nda kele bahude, ebra tabaraka palata pala, lepra banda parata palako pele, efera to makame, libra banato peleto palate, aparanda sine, a Bana kute beleto, can somebody be restless enough in their spirit so that the yokes in their neck can fall off tonight? A beleto makan, lebre meto a kapeleto. The way you are praying, it seems as if you are not yet tired. A bala kuata mande, lebre ne kute beleto fanai, lebre pina kuata barata pina. A bala paruata pale, lebre bondo pa kute le pa. Abala parata parata be ebene beruata kane liba rufe kamo ruta lebra moto kabele ibalendo pakuata nai ebrado fika parata be the way you are praying I'm afraid abala baba baba bala tabe this is not a portion of Mexican deliverance ebene kuata mano ibaluta baluta mai abama baba 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 baya the portion of men. Seeking deliverance is a posture of restlessness. Abala kuata mambo, ibrate ne kuata mahade. Aya dabana tabala tamama, ababa bala tamalaga de mihelo. Ibrane beku, ebe ne kuata mamba hele. Erwa takaba latwa, ala tabala kapara kapina. God forbid that I will still live here the same way I came. God forbid that that chain I came here with. 
We still follow me back home. Abala kwa kamade ibarato moko periali lepre medo suta bara. It's a night where the Lord He said to set his people free. Abalata bababla katabalai adaneto kabelito. The children of Israel they were in captivity for 430 years, but the duration was not an impossibility before God. Abalata balata pina eka balas kopel arata nata rata balai. Though they were there 430 years, the Lord God still came. And he wrought a mighty deliverance. Adana Kabalata Bina, his deliverance became total that even the Egyptians they saw, they saw them no more. Abalata Kabalata Me, Adana Tokabalata Bina. Today the deliverance of many will be total. Abate Katobele, the, 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 the Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more. Abande Tola Balata Me, Lepra. Quata nata, he pratana capalato cabe, lata palata me, he capato penetua, lepra para catua, et a bene capalato macabella, la prana sign, a papatama la capelato, he pale sopra nesco pahade, I capa papa, I capa papa, lepra cotuana parihade, lepra pana caparatane. Alo basute palate he prana saita pakat apada parata palata palata e pele twa kaprana kabe aparata kambarato be le prabane sota kabala apa baba 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 le pakwata parata palata be e palato palaka be even from this hour we can step into our deliverance apande kuta sute le prabata kapratina kabai le prabana na barata kabela ida bala soto kwane eno mo soimba hadela le prabanda kana masaido erata kabaraka baraka twa le prato mo kondo bila e bala sonda bakale la prada komba lato barate ai pada santa bala are you not tired that you are you are, you are someone mentioned by the name of the lord yet you are still under the captivity Abale koto balata balabena, aba ba 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 be, aba ba 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 be. Being a believer for this long, and yet you cannot still break free from that addiction. You cannot still break free from that bondage. Aba la kabala tu ala balate na. It now looks as if what the word of God says is not true. Tonight, can somebody cry and secure the hand? of God apalando pakan le prebene kwata bihado ipakamba baba sota balato la prabana kabalo tame le prebene parata ba la prabana twa kabale ye bana bakatwana Faila maso kape, ida palata palata palato, eka paleto kamalato, adanda kaparata pelihado, ida basoto bakai, aida baka parata mano, lebra mosute barute ba, lebra bana kabaruta balai, aito bana soto, akaba toma latwa, aya ba 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 ba, ata balaka balaka pele, abalato pele. Hello to some of us. It is during the prayer session that our deliverance will come. To some of us, it is during the worship session that our deliverance will come. To some of us, it is during the word session that our deliverance will come. He balata barata kabelato lebra masota bakai he barata baraka baruata maya ata ba 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 bo. Lebra bana sai kabalata, lebra kaka basaido, heba kabra nanda balato, lebra bana kabarata barata baratola. I have felt one abale, 
Ataka balata balata balo Akairo bahale Arata balata balato Ebrene kwata nato lepeleto Ida bale fe kwata nai Alata barata kabalatone Ete kabalata balato Aita baka balata mele Ayata bababababo Why some of you are waiting for the Lord To run the deliverance Meanwhile heaven is waiting for your restlessness Heaven is waiting for the moment When you say enough is enough Enough is enough Akabalata balata bele Aida baka bilatwa Alata banata kabe Le baluata sign Ibra kane predikalea Lebra parakado barata kila Lebra paraka baraka belai Ebra teka barata palo Lebra bana kwata ne Ebra leto bale hado Ebra natuka Ayata balata balata belado Ala barato bagua Lebra bene kwata higa Ebra kenebi hila kwa Lebra buka tvaruka balai Ababababababo Lebra tu barate palia You are, you are looking at the person by your side. Huh. Instead of you to shut your own eyes and secure the hand of God for yourself, you are looking at the person by your side. Meanwhile, you came here with chains in your hands. Meanwhile, you came here with chains in your legs. Oh my God. La para kabala kabala para tapan le pratwa takame la tapala tama abara katwa na bala le frekwa tamoko ibrata na tale brano tebele twa le prato frekwa dahila rapano peli kabala ai tapado akamele to ata para tapala tama abaru tebale abara takabela twa abrato bele twa ne ai pakwa tanando the belet of a lot of a root of a heart. Hey! Hey! La parato mecale. Pero do sute brani carato. Le brano tu acade balai. Prado pelito balaka belido. Oh my God. Prado sata bala. Prado barata sada balai. Parata parata paraka parato Libratane kwata ni hagoros Adrele na haro baruda kaniya Fero do mohoru na baha Prano beni sasai na baha Librano kwata nai I tell you for free tonight The Lord is sent to deliver Much more than addictions Tonight some of you who have been under spells, under causes, under demonic affliction. Tonight is your night. Some of you that in your dreams, the enemy keeps coming to oppress you. Tonight is your night. If only somebody can be restless enough and be violent enough to secure the hand of God from the realm of the immortal down to this reality. Abala tomakai Libra bale sute pele kuwa Abranda swaka bala Lebra bakwata balato Lebra baba 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 kode Lebra duska bale balato Lebra baru akakane Shabala tua Tonight has been marked as a night of deliverance. It's a night of liberation. Be it addiction, be it causes, be it affliction, tonight none of it will escape the hand of God. None of it will escape the hand of God. None of it tonight. But only men that are restless enough to secure the hand of God only those men will see his hand we see his mighty hand to break them free I so fell as far as I command 
Radana Cabrana Saita Paratani Labrana Toka Balata Bila Abrana Swata Cabarata Mal Lebrabana Swata Cabe Abarata Mokola Barato Ibaleto Somalanda Ebana Baraka Tomilai Abale Brano Saida Lebra Baraka Maruata Le Ebromoto Suta Baraka Ten Lebra Dano Cabara It doesn't matter how long that, that affliction had been I had to soul a man None of it will escape the hand of your Lord tonight If only you can pray La Parata Cabalato Le premele sota cane, le prado sai la barata, la braca barata balatoa, le prabo no coboroto milai, i brane sola, ai adabala camalato, e prene pereco tomo lutuane, la bacute peleto, arata barata barata balato, i balato malacato anamai. None of them will escape the Lord tonight. If only you can pray and secure the hand of the Lord. Aso palanda kala balahade, ibrada sala brana kabarata, labrata kabarato malai, arada barata kame, urata ne baruata kame, lada branda sote brama kwata, ibrada barata kabarato ne, lebrene do kame, ibrada kabalata balato ban, ende mene kabalato mene kutoa, ebrani saka barata me, ayato bakwata nade. Le brabana to baraka tena ha ba 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 bo Oh Haya sofele sofela rakama Pradele go go ba ha de kamas Harada ba 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 bo Haya da ba 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 Barata baraka baraka balaka bay. The Bible said Peter was in prison. He was held by Herod. But the Bible said that the church raised a cry. The church made prayers, and that is how it happened. That one day Peter was just in the cell, and he saw somebody wake him up, and behold, it was an angel, and he told him, "Quickly move, let's move." And he stood up and he followed the angel. The prison door was open. The Bible said they came to the prison open by his own accord. Until, until Peter was far in the street. And when he turned, he did not see the man again. That's when he realized that what he was seeing was not a dream, but a reality. I'm telling you this story so that you will understand that there is a way we can raise prayers. And angels will begin to be on the move. And every prison house we have been in the realm of the spirit, they will begin to step in. And the gates will begin to open by their own accord. If only you can just raise a cry tonight. Abalaswa kapale, Libra kana swata kale. Herod has heard some of you bound, but if only you can raise a cry tonight, the prison doors will be opened by their own accord. Ebarata makwane, lebaraka baruta saina, lebra badwa kabarata balahade, abala toma kame, lebra petwa kapelo, etesko balato, barata barata barato. Pela lebra pana tu akapale i barato makua e benesko palato e bra ba 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 ko le banus kapan e bra na kato pahal la bra ba le baruta pan i ba kwata bala hadekan e be 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 it does not matter how ancient the prison is. It does not matter how strong the strong man is holding you down. If only you can secure the hand of God. If only you can secure the hand of God tonight. That spell, those curses, 
will be broken tonight. That addiction tonight will be his end. That setback tonight will be his end. Faila sukra de sona mahale. Pradola brana kabarasha kale. He pratala barata barata pale, ada balata balata barute pale. Lord God, abalata kabeleto anakani. I cannot be an agent of Your kingdom, set to proclaim Your word of deliverance to men. Yet I am still in captivity. Yet I am still in bondage. Tonight is that night. Ada kaba swata lato, ebrando shaila balakata. He barata kabala to me, apa ba 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 bole, ata kabarute saina, ebrakata malato akabala to, sege dege dege bele tuai, ebrene tuala kani had, libra boto kombo to boloto, abranda kune bele hokolo, shada balata mano, rata kabaraka baraka tala, lebre bene toto bokota, lebre bene tuala kani halo. La Bracana Belituana Hale, Eka Batu Belituana Bale. Oh my God, somebody is shy to pray. You are looking at the person by your side and telling yourself, Let me not be too serious so that they will not think I'm under one addiction. Hey, this is the lie that the enemy sells to men to ensure that they remain in bondage. The deceit that the enemy sells to men to ensure that they remain in bondage. This is not the time to look around. It's the time to shut your eyes until you can see his hand. Ada Santa Balata Bale, La Bracata Balata Balata Balacone, Ebrando Saka Balata, Ebrata Malacaba Sonda, Abranda Saka La Bala, Ebrata Balata Barato Belequa, Eroto Soma Rata, Arata Baracatoa, Lebra Bana Sonda Bahale, Edemando Suka. Lebre bene sute caribale, lebra paru atacale, rata barata capara, lebra cana barata cane, lebre bene socale, lebra pano saila barata, a pala come le tua, ebre bene cobarata malai, et a cabalata palata, a rata bababo, e barata cabarata palude, a rana cule, lebre bene paradabai, a pade braco. La Prata la Prata Caparata Cane, La Pratana Paruca Tane, Le Prepele Pago Capana, Arata Parata Capala, Aicopale Basuta, Cabeleta Belletua, Eprete Paruta Parata, Ata Parata Cape, A Parata Capelia Camay, Ata Patu Belletua, Le Prepele Sopa Cane, Ata Parata Colia Tanas. Rapa da para capa babol, la ta capa la ta pele tua, ai capa se sola parata, a parata capa la ta malato. I told you tonight, it's just beyond addiction. It doesn't end in addiction alone. Everything that has plagued your life, everything that is not of God, that has plagued your life, tonight is the expiry date. Tonight is your termination date. Tonight is that day where that pattern we end. Tonight is that day where that cycle we end. Aparato Makwat. I see some people challenged with the issue of bedwetting. And the Lord is saying, if you can just pray tonight, tonight will be the last day. La Paraka Tomelaya. Abracato Santa Pale. La Pratome Quatanalo. Ebratebo cobra nata cale, ebrato veletua, abarata parute vecuane, shaba capale, shaba capale, ebalata valata palato, ebrata valaca paruta velatua. Ale 
Vosso Mahatequa Pradola Branda Sai Cabala Ibrata Balata Balata Balatopela Abrata Caparata Balata Bala Ibara Toma Kame Lai Parasco Brenna Tale Bahadi Adata Barata Barata Balato Abarata Cabalatua Ebrebele Quata Barata Bina Coria Ebrene Caberi Atale Lebrebele Parute Belito Para Labrato Saida Ibra de Baruta Barata Abra de Sonda Baca de Barato Lebrebele Quata Mahone Eroto Baranda Calibala La Bradena Cute Beretoa Ebra de Berato Barata Barato Abrata Barata Cabela Le Bratana Saita Cade Ababa Ala Barata Saika Bala There is no bondage stronger than the Lord. There is no chain that the Lord cannot break. No prison house that the Lord cannot open. Even the gates of your man by powers. The Bible said, lift up your head, O ye gates. You everlasting doors be lifted up. There might be ancient matters. There might be old matters. But they are not as ancient as our ancient of days. They are not stronger than Elohim. They are not stronger than Elohim. Palefado Satamanda Labratama Quata Saina Ebarata Baluta Belatwane Ebrafa Quata Saka Bala Lata Braca Faca Tome La Quata Ibrata Cabalata Cabalatua Lebra Bela Toca Belato Ibratama Cunde Bele Soma Abrande Sola Manda Saila Ebre de Baruta Bahade Lebra Bene Quata Nedo Ula Baruta Burra Tenekele Erato Manda Cuda Behale Rata Baraca Benatua Lebre Bene Cobra Nisca Balato Abale Baruta Balai Ada Barata Baraka Belatuana Ai Valoto Barata Balatuane I Barata Cabarata Balato Melacane E Beleso Vala Safilato E Prete Velequada Bahade Arata Meletuara di Vacane Aratele Baruata Nae A Barato Barata Cabela and the Bale Tomaraka Tena, a Barata Cabela Tomai, and the Fede Cabo Rute Felia, a Bratomele Quatana Cale, Rata Baruata Cabela Tua, a Rata Baba Baba Bore, Lebre Pene Toko Borosco Velato, a Barata Nana Rasiva, a Preperetto Perita Vacari, Labrado Shata Barata Balai. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. So send a prayer in your spirit. You know, the Bible said, it said one shall chase a thousand and two shall chase ten thousand. You see, there are some kind of matters, there are some kind of bondage that require agreement between you and another person. Eh? There are some matters that are holding many of us bound. Just by ourselves alone, we are not able to really push it. Eh? So, we need, to, we need to be in agreement with somebody to be able to push that prayer. Jesus is the one that said, whatever you bound on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. He said, where two or, two, two or three of you are gathered in my name, I am there. He said, if two of you agree as touching a matter, if two of you agree as touching a matter, it means that there is a place where there needs to be agreement to be able to secure liberation from heaven. There are some matters that you only you, you chase a thousand, 
But there are some matters that you need to be two so that you can chase the 10,000 that is coming against you. Because if you are one against that 10,000, you will not be able to accomplish it. It will not look as if it's as if God is not strong. But it's not God. There is a way to achieve that one. We are going to hold ourselves either two by two or by three. If you are just by one person, you can hold one person. But if you are up to three there, you can hold yourself in threes. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Tonight, nothing will escape the light of God. Nothing. You see, even if the thing has been escaping all the while, he has been escaping one way or the other. But today, I want us to pray an agreement prayer with the brother or your sister you are holding. That anything in your life that the enemy has used to plague you or hold you down or keep you in any prison house or any chain, tonight will be that last night where that chain will remain in your hands, where that chain will remain in your legs. Tonight, I come in agreement with you and we break that chain. Tonight I come in agreement with you and we set ourselves loose from that prison house. Can somebody lift up their voice and pray tonight? Can somebody lift up your voice and pray tonight? If the person you are holding is not praying, you are free to leave that person and go and meet somebody else. It's a serious matter tonight. We are not come here to joke. We cannot be a people that should proclaim the liberty of the Lord. Yet we are in bondage you want to go out there to cast out devils meanwhile you are under oppression meanwhile you are in prison houses meanwhile causes are still running over your life meanwhile addiction will not let you rest masturbation does not want to leave you gambling is still holding you down smoking is still holding you you are still sneaky to go and drink your food cannot let you be tonight I agree with my my brother with my sister this chain is broken off tonight this chain is broken off tonight this bondage is broken off tonight this prison house I am coming out of it tonight I pursue a kale rapata barata barakatwa lebere to sole e propondo suka paria le prepelo suta rida e prabuta Brada Kabiriata, Ebre Bene Berita Balai, Ebe Bebe Bebe Benio, Ebe Bate Leto, Ibarate Baruta Balai, Ebre Bene Katwa, Lete Baruka Tane, Ibale Sona, Ebre Dona Cabraniska, Ibarato Sina, Ebe Bene Cabelio, Atamando Shake, Ebre Tobarata Bila, Ebre Tobarata Bila, if anything is you let you not escape this threefold cord, let you not escape this twofold cord. I are the follow. I brought up a root of Kale, Yato Paratomela, and brought to Marate Kuria. Let it not escape this threefold cord, let it not escape this twofold cord. I am coming agreement tonight, and I say. That chain is broken. Fire pura sele, shabala tabalato, ebra tuata pare ato, ebra tuka pare ato, eto pale 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 kuba ayo, abra skofe letwa, la brata ma barata kale, la brato beleto pale. Oh my God. Even if you escape the hand of Jehu, it will not escape Elijah. Oh my God! Oh my God! Even if it escaped your hand, it will not escape this three-fold cord. It will not escape this two-fold cord. Somebody pray tonight. Somebody get angry in the spirit. Be tired and restless of that bondage. Be tired and restless of that addiction. And say tonight is that night. Look at the addiction in the face and say you have no power over me again. So 
Tonight is the night of the landlord. He will forget every illegal tenant in your life. Every illegal occupant in your life. Tonight is the night that they vacate. Shabalatwa. E profono kute veli atane. La pra kwata nando. E pra toma kwata nizo. Ayata balaka balatwa. E pra chabeleto balate. E pra tabaro kale. La pra tana shata. Arata parata parata bale. Arata parata parata bale. Le pre bene toma kale. Erofilia kale. La pra to kwata ne. Le pra tuata kale. Ayata makwata. E le pra kata balakwa. A pra tome le so saina. Ai so seme. E pra nosko balato. Shata balatwa. E re tene kario. Rata barata me. Arata me loturia. Somebody pray tonight. of victory blow like a mighty wind tonight let nothing escape your spirit let nothing escape your spirit tonight let nothing escape your spirit tonight pass of Allah sana afrenele grado shayla libra jana kuriatana libra baruta nagalia Shabara kada bala kada ba, shada bala kada bala kada ba, shada bala kada bala kada ba. Ebra tua na kani barato, ebro pono kute feli hado. Pane pane pane, pane pane duka hale. Shada bala tane, shada bala tudia. Arakata bala kamaria, la brata ma baruata nado. Ebro noto bruno filio, shada kabala. Era tabarata barata bale, ato bala kamarata, era tabarata barata bale, le prebele to barata bala, ala toma kuata nelo, era tabarute beria toma. We will secure our deliverance. Tonight, a leaflet will be revealed. A God who delivers. Abarata Kabala. Hello, so many. Kada la barata, 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 bala. Abra da bra do shada bala. Abra di barata, barata, barata bila. Ba 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 no. Lebra kwata na sakale. Lebra da barata shaka bala. Abra da barata, barata bila. Rata ba 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 no. Ele baruta saina kale. Yata barata barata meo Ero to solo Ibra to lua kamanda Abra do beli bakwa janero Arata barata barata tua Ayos Ayos Even if he escapes Jehu May he not escape Elisha Ha! I'm going to add another layer to that prayer. Even if it escapes this threefold cord, 
May you not escape the anointing that will come in this house tonight. May you not escape the anointing that will come in this house tonight. Because we know by the anointing it will break yokes. By the anointing it will set free. For the Bible said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. And he went about doing good and healing all those that were oppressed by the devil. So can somebody lift up your voice tonight and pray that his anointing tonight in this service will not, will not overlook any of the chains that I'm in. Will not overlook any of the bondage I am in. That the Lord will release his anointing in this service tonight so strong to bring about the liberation and deliverance and set free every man, every woman in this building that will be part of this service tonight. His anointing will be strong today to set free and to deliver all those who are oppressed by the devil. Can we lift up our voice and pray? I let your anointing in this service be so strong Lord that none of our baggages will escape tonight Soma, Arapanato Pelequata Melo, Rapane Shai Capale, Arata Barute Pelletua, Ibrato Melequata Melo Suba, Arapa Baba 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 Bane, Labra Baba Baba Baba, Aila Parata Paquata Balato, by the anointing, he will break all yokes, Abale Breto Soima Quate, Ayata Parata Bila, Arata Baba Baba Bone. And if a quarter mando, le prepele toko poroto palia, ayata balas copele suari atani. Aleba so parata palato, ibratama topeke le parahade, arata shata bakane, alato palaso palante, akaparanda shaka pala. Rata palata baraka palata pela, aita baka pere sovelai, anamba bata pele paruata bane, ika basote bahula, arata shata balai, arata baba 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 mela, akabala shata bol, elata barata baraka pela, alata baraka pela sovelai, ika raka soka, ara barata balato, aita bate bate bate. Lato Maraka Saida, Lord God, let your anointing the break yokes. Let it be available tonight. Let it not escape me. Let it not escape me. La Pelosco Parata Pelato, Ita Braca Meratuale, Ebrete Bereke to Marate, Ita Parata Le Procame Letua, Ayata Baba 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 Bone. Le prepele scopane, ai ta ba quata palata beleto, ai na ba 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 bone, i ta ba kosefo, ara ba samba li ta bara, la prado shata, la prapa ta kaparato, le prepele para kaparuata ne, i ta ba no bele parua kapela, ai ta palato melekane, Lord, a pe sofela, a preto pratene paruta kane. La branda shata, ai ta brabana kabarata bil. Ai ko para shakane, la brata barata kane, ai na barata balus kefanai, e prete beletona, a baleto bahata skaba, a ta brata balata bale, let your anointing tonight. Come so strong, 
la balesca varata nata la bradina kabala tabala have you not heard that the anointing that came upon jesus he delivered all those that were oppressed by the devil the bible said all those Lepra for Guatanelo, Anata Baruata Cabellaton, nothing will can escape the anointed about the part of Paleas Copalato, Alasata Cabalato, Ibratana Sotelepaca, Anata Balato Pelipaqua, Ibrato Malaca Peria Capale, Ilala Baba 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 Baila bala hokos ke male Prado berifa kwata mala hoga Bala bala to bela skobala Efredele to pranis kaparato Baute bele to mala kaselo Ibrata na bala kaberia kaba Abra ba 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 Lefrata bo sute leberia, ayado ba 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 bole. Lebre beskwata li farata ma, la brava na kade ba sota lelo. Ibra ba la sanda, ibra ba la sanda. Shabala tua kaparata, ala to brana kabrania. Let nothing escape the anointing tonight. Let nothing escape his anointing tonight. Let nothing escape his anointing tonight. I also fell as well. He said, All doors are oppressed by the devil. All, all, all. As long as you have that oppression, the anointing is said to come to liberate. The anointing is said to come to set free. Fale ferwa takabalash, ebra tabara kabaru tamala tobela, habaka tobela tamala hanebal, ebra dosha tabara. Ibra <laughs> Oh Lord, your anointing that breaks you. Lord, let you not pass me by tonight. Let it not pass me by tonight. Let it not pass me by tonight. Let it not pass me by tonight. Let that anointing locate me tonight. Tonight is that night. Yeah, you are anointing the century. We look at me. Allah Santa Krada la Pare. Imbra Tola Bragadesh Kopalata. Efronoto Sola Parata Nakale. La Brata Mabrada Cabrota Belatwa. La Brata Pequata Rata Belar. A Brata Sopalate. A Baba 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 Abarata Shata Pale, Ebra Pokwata Nando Sila, Ebra Tamo Puse Beletua, Rata Baba 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 Babo, Elebra Sopracana, Shapala Tua Tapala, Shapala Tua Tapala, Abrato Beleto Braca de Barato, Ala Barata Barato Beletua, Ele Barupe Swane Quanta Sana. Shabala bala tane bala Alos Alos Can somebody
let it be more intentional now. I said, Lord, let your anointing not pass me by tonight. Let your anointing not pass me by tonight. Because the word of God has said that all those that we are oppressed by the devil, we are set free by the anointing of Jesus. Let it not pass me by tonight. Can we be more intentional? Can we be more intentional? Let your anointing not pass me by tonight. Let your anointing not pass me by tonight. Let it not pass me by tonight. Let it not pass me by tonight. Let it not pass me by tonight. I have suffered for that affliction for long. Lord, let your anointing not pass me by tonight. Let your anointing not pass me by tonight. Can somebody be more intentional? Can somebody be more intentional? Let your anointing not pass me by tonight. Let your anointing not pass me by tonight. Pasca fele rosana mantale. La prata moco brave la sosina. Lero do no sana baraka sobra na. I prata la roca brotana. La prata sata. La bobo supe la toma cale. Arada barata soka para parwata ne. Le prabado baraka sada bahale. Let your anointing not pass me by tonight. Terminated. <laughs> I'm telling you this so that just in case, even if they might not mention the exact problem that you are faced with, <laughs> you can lay a demand on the anointing and on the power tonight. Whatever the challenge might be that the enemy has laid the siege in your life, tonight you can lay a demand on the anointing and the power tonight. I'm saying this so that some people will not be discouraged when the service is on and maybe they did not mention my case. It's not a matter of mentioning case. It's a matter of if you can just press him to touch the hem of his garment. Power and anointing will move and that problem will be terminated. Pray for one more minute before I step out. Let your anointing not escape me tonight. Let your anointing not escape me tonight. As you move in our midst tonight, Lord, do not escape me. By no means, Lord, do not pass me by. So tell Lord, until you deliver me, I will not let you be. Until I break free from that addiction, I will not let you be. Afosama Baraska. Le prata na to braka de shata bala Le braba na samba kwata na to Le braba na savre kados 
Whatever the warfare that may be in your life, whatever the spiritual warfare, let it not escape the power of God tonight. May so say massacre. Palaparata, palaparata, palata. Some people need to be determined. Some people need to be determined like the woman with the issue of blood tonight. You need to be determined. No matter how the service is going, be determined to touch him. Let power touch your life. I am the Balaba Sotwa Kabala. Le Prada Shata Palato. Ebra Palasco Palato Benatwa. Ibra Banando Shata. Abalato Maracato. Ibale So Parafequa. Abra Basso Palato. Prado Shaka Bala. I am the Baba Palato Meleto. Ibrako Masaina Maha. Rapatuata Braca Palato. Ebrebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
stripe of Judah. Indeed, you are my hero. Indeed, you are my hero. Indeed, you are my hero. You can break barriers. You can break addiction. You are strong enough. Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah.
it was on the basis of this revelation that the Lord gave us this sound as sweet incense during our retreat the Lord gave us this sound and just just you will just listen to us as we sing it two more times and then you join us in this worship because the Lamb of God the Lion of the tribe of Judah He's strong enough to break patterns. He's strong enough to break patterns. He's strong enough to look into your scroll. He's strong to behold, read of your scroll. And he will tell you that this is the natural pattern in your bloodline. But I'm breaking that pattern because he's the lion of the tribe of Judah. And so the song says, Worship the lion who is worthy to ascend the hills of the Lord. Worship, worship the lion who is worthy to us. The hill. Worship, worship.
You can pray in the Holy Ghost. You can pray in the Holy Ghost. You can pray in the Holy Ghost. Ora bele kavisa si za da balande le grebo si da pi da pi da bora ba 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 ba. Krama na moko breke deke 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 Worship him in tongues wherever you are. Randi Kabila Nakabo Sada Dabara Kabo de Bandi Akadiata. Come on now, come on now. Let it come from your spirit, let it come from the belly of your spirit. Worship God wherever you are. Rekrasi krabo kabete kavina kabola kadiata lama na kabone kabila kabone da priata la pondele kabila toliate i kabota bara sata kabote li kaniate ruaka kodesh ruak Elohim siza pari atakado landa kadi kade riza somebody was. Oh, Revene Bada Boca Velenata Scabila Bore Mandi Le Cabe Susa Barata. Yes, Jesus. We worship you. We lift your name on high. We worship you. We lift your name on high. We worship you. 
my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. The heavens over these places open, 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 open. You can connect with the flow of the Spirit right now. You can connect. You can connect with the flow of the Spirit right now, right now, right now, right now. You can align in the Spirit. You can align. You can align. You can align. You can align. I'm hearing triumphant shouts. I'm hearing triumphant shouts in the spirit. Somebody align, 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 align. Let nothing hold you back. Let nothing hold you back.
Thank you on site and online, Lord. Yokes will break tonight. Chains will scatter tonight. Deliverance will be mighty in this house tonight. Nobody will live here with an affliction. Nobody will live here with a disease. Nobody will live here with sickness. Thank you, oh God, for there will be miracles tonight. Thank you for testimonies that are bound tonight. Thank you for every family represented here. You will invade our lives with signs and wonders. Thank you for the speaking blood of Jesus tonight. The blood speaks tonight. The blood speaks tonight. Thank you for what we know you do. Take all the glory, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for a rich atmosphere of your presence. Thank you for prison doors that have been flung open. Men and women walk out tonight. Teenagers walk out tonight. Youths walk out tonight. Children walk out tonight. Activity of demonic spirits end tonight. I'm seeing two young ladies in the spirit right now. You've been under the affliction of the invasion of a demonic spirit. That spirit has had constant access to your life. Visiting you at strange hours of the night. As I am speaking now, a mighty deliverance is happening over you. A mighty deliverance is happening over you. That door that was open in the spirit, I see the Lord slam it shut. If your amen is louder, it will happen now. Come on, a louder amen. That affliction ends tonight. That demonic visitation ends tonight. Things in your bloodline that have inhibited your walk with God and not allowed, oh my God, advance, not allowed you advance into destiny. By the power that's in the name of Jesus, we lift that embargo off of your life. If your amen is loud, the embargo is lifted. If your amen is louder, the embargo is lifted. The Lord rides as a warrior tonight. He rides, oh my God, there's someone on my right there. The Lord rides into your family. He's coming into your family. I see you there. I see you. The Lord rides into your family. As a warrior, he brings deliverance to your house. He brings deliverance to your house. He brings deliverance to your house. Shout a loud amen. Oh, precious Holy Ghost. Precious Holy Ghost. Thank you for chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. People are being released. Strike the symbols. I feel the deliverance anointing upon me now. People are being released. I see three people in this congregation right now. The power of God is going to come upon you. It's a sign of your release. It's a sign of your release. It's a sign of your release. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Break! I said 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 bread, 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 bread. Power of God, those three people I need to lay hands on as a sign of their deliverance. Help me find them now. 
from the right to the left from the back to the front Holy Ghost put your hand upon them a sign of their release ushers bring them to me bring them to me bring them to me that devil is a liar ah! There are three, there are three. I see your feet loose in the spirit. You are stepping into destiny. You are, oh my God, oh my God. There's a young man. There's a young man. Fire. 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 That devil is a liar. your destiny enter your destiny there's a young man I'm trying to find they have arranged that what limited your father will limit you but I call the fire of God to approach you now to approach you now that young man fire is coming on your head I see you in the spirit. I see you in the spirit. Holy Ghost, help me identify him. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's fire, it's fire. Take. You are free. I say you are free. You are free. Fire. not how I plan that this meeting will go but there are some cases that are urgent they are urgent in the spirit Lord I saw that young man help me help me pick him out of the crowd right now right now I announce his release in the spirit I announce his release in the spirit you cannot be held. Okay, okay. The Lord has told me the person is here. Lord, in your mercy now, in your mercy now, help me find that young man. Let, let your anointing, your anointing, locate him, locate Aha, He comes strong now, strong. Strong, strong, strong. He, he comes strong. I, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. Aha, bring him. Raise your hands, shout Jesus! I can't hear you. As you shout it, prison doors are breaking open. On site, online. Raise your voice, shout Jesus! you I release you raise him raise him I can't bend when you shout this Jesus this time some of you your eyes will open in the spirit you will see yourself breaking out. Are you ready? Shout Jesus! Power of God! Power of God! Power of God!
Thank you, Holy Ghost. Aye, we must teach tonight. We must teach. Thank you, Holy Ghost. May your name alone be exalted. You cannot live here with that weight. We're going to have a time to really pray after the teaching. And you will pray yourself out of certain things today. Today, today, today. Some people don't have enough time. Time has run out for you. The Lord showed me two ladies. Two ladies. And write, write what I am saying down. Write it down. Two ladies. Over 40. That are in this meeting. By the mercy of God, I wrestled for your wedding. I wrestled. I wrestled. By the mercy of God. Two. Over 40. I wrestled and the lion of the tribe of Judah, he prevailed. I'm giving you eight months. Write what I'm saying down. Write it down. No, write it. So you know I'm not just... Eight months. The Lord would have perfected everything concerning settling you in a home. Eight months. And his name will be glorified. Thank you, Father. Just give God thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we have prayed. You may be seated quickly. Oh, ra ba 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 just help them, help them to the back. We're going to go into a deeper session by the time the teaching is finished. Whoosh! We don't plan the services, the Holy Spirit does. And I am a man under authority. If he says he wants to do something, my job is to respond. So forgive us just in case you planned that you will start taking notes immediately after the choir ministration. The Lord came to attend to those urgent matters. Then when we finish teaching, other matters will be handled very quickly. What I can assure you is that you will not leave this meeting the same. Never, never. And you see, it has nothing to do with the preacher. No. The emphasis tonight is if your faith can touch Jesus, you will receive from his hand great miracles. Quickly, let me do some administrative business in the next 10 minutes, then we start to teach. I thought I would tie this up today, but let me see how the Lord will help us. Quickly, on our building project, we urgently need professionals. Professionals, if you are a Structural, structural engineer, if you are a construction engineer, if you are an architect, please, please, we need professionals urgently, urgently, urgently. So if you fall into any of those categories, we need people to supervise the project, we need people to do drawings. Right now, we are almost at the stage where we will get our structural drawings, so we need professionals. If we have people in the house, we don't need to go and pay for the service. So please, if you have any of those skills, those experiences, and you want to labor in this house, please feel free to see our pastor in charge of administration, Pastor Mine, immediately after the service, and you will be incorporated into the building team. Uh, concerning the building, we are still giving. Please feel free to send in your support as usual. Uh, remember that this first phase, just, this is just the first phase. It's about 40 million. And we are still about 15, 16 million shy of that amount. So please feel free to give as the Lord has blessed you. The details for the building project, they are on the screen. You can give in whatever currency the Lord has blessed you. Because of the Festival of Glory, there will be no service here next Sunday. So Sunday the 26th, which is next Sunday, 
there will be no service here. Um, I encourage you to hook up with the Festival of Glory and be blessed because Jesus will be doing great things in our midst. Festival of Glory begins on Tuesday this week and the theme is Jesus by signs and wonders. Even if you cannot make it physically, please join online. There is no distance in the spirit. Join in and the Lord will bless us. After one of the vigils, I got to my prayer place at home and the Lord began to speak to me. He said from the 24th, that is the last seven days of these vigils, of this intercession, we should take on prayer walks. Now, all you need to do, the instruction is simple. Wherever you stay, wherever you stay, you just need to find one hour, two hours as safety and security will permit at the time that is convenient for you and walk your street, walk your area. The prayer points are simple. You will continue to tell the Lord that this land and her people are totally liberated. That's what you'll be doing. One hour, minimum one hour prayer walk. One hour. Your street. You take your own area. You are the priest there. So wherever you are, one hour, this land and her people are totally liberated and announce the year of Jubilee. The year of Jubilee. So the date is 24th to the 30th. So from the 24th, we'll still be meeting for our vigils, but every member of this house Wherever you find yourself, take a prayer walk. Pick a time that is convenient for you, early morning, evening, late evening, whichever one that is convenient that does not put you at risk. Don't go and say that um, it must be 12 a.m. And you know say 12 a.m. for your street, not a fine. <clears throat> Use wisdom. Don't put yourself at risk. Except you have clear instructions from the Lord. If the Lord says it must be 12 a.m., then it means he has already provided security for you. But if you live in such an area and the Lord told you that it is 12 a.m., please share with me so that I can only be also bear witness. All right? So that you are safe. Do we understand the assignment? So from the 24th, one hour minimum, you can do as, many, as long as you will and as long as the Holy Spirit puts a burden on your heart. Tonight, I want to introduce another couple that will be getting married. Sister Judith, please come. Um, Brother Taiwo, please come. These people are very carnal people. <laughs> Praise God. This song is born in the mind. Which song is that? Uh -huh. Today is going to be very strange, so just, just manage with me. Manage with me. Manage. Sister Judith is a daughter of this house. A daughter. A daughter. You know, one of the ways I measure daughters is when my wife can give a comment. If my wife says, Hi, this one. Then I say, Aha. <laughs> so she's a daughter of this house. And then um, Brother Taiwo is in our company. He's the son, one of the sons of Apostle Gideon Odoma. So let it pain you. <laughs> Judith is now going to Joss. Uh. So I bring liberty to all the young men that have been under pressure. You saw Judith lead prayer and then you had a dream. And in that dream, you heard a whisper. 
Paul said the Lord. I just came to tell you he's not the Lord. He's not the Lord. Judith has been taken and brother Taiwo has been approved by the Lord to make her his wife. So come. Yes, you can celebrate Jesus. There's a way to know brothers that are properly taught. I had never met him. He had already begun to talk to me, give me updates about every step they were taking, even though I'm not his pastor. Taiwo, they say you should raise your head, though. <laughs> I know you are in the spirit. <laughs> so, um, he's a good brother, I can tell you that. A child of God. We are glad to release our daughter to him. We are glad. We are glad. So tonight I want you to bless them as they begin to prepare for the marriage. Can you stretch forth your hand to them and tell the Lord that come December 2nd, everything would have fallen in place. Everything they need. Everything that God needs to supply. Pray for them now. Give them the RCN worry blessing. The RCN worry blessing. The RCN worry blessing. Oh, ask the Lord to open the heavens. They are responding to Jesus, responding to his will, responding to his leading. No man responds to God and becomes stranded. None. It will not start with this union. We ask that heaven be opened. Heaven be opened. Grace be multiplied. The hand of the Lord be strong upon you. As we pray for you, I bless you with a father's blessing. And I decree that this journey, this journey, the Lord will be with you. Everything that the Lord needs to give you to guarantee that this journey is a success. The bowels of heaven are open to you now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' awesome name, we pray. You can celebrate them as they come by you. Shake their hands. Congratulate them. I have been given the privilege by God's servant, Apostle Odoma, to... Go and join them when they are getting married. So we'll be going to Iloring Quara State. It'll be a great time. Praise God. Sunday last week, before we came into service, God added a soldier, a prophet, and a daughter of Zion to our ranks. He added her to the family of the Williams. And so quickly. Quickly, we are going to name that baby. Quickly, today is the eighth day, so we do that naming quickly. And then we're going to Bible study. Please approach brother Williams, brother and sister Williams. Oh, Shabada Barataya. Hmm. The way I'm feeling tonight, Jesus help me. If not, that naming ceremony, I'll just turn it to crusade. Crusade, crusade. Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Um, before we name the baby, do you want to share a testimony? Okay, quickly, quickly. Quick. Praise the Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I really want to thank God for his mercies. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God is faithful. He has been merciful. Throughout the process of the pregnancy, God has been merciful. No, no, no issues. Till when it's even close to delivery. Say, so let's go and do scan to know the sex of the baby and... This kind of, I was having a pain this side of my belly and also um, told them to like check what was wrong. 
and they said um, that there is fire bread there. At first, the first doctor did not say anything. Then when I went for Auntie Nata the second time, the other doctor and I said, this place where the fire bread is, that the baby will not be able to come out, that we will have to do CS. Immediately, I felt so bad. I was like, I, I felt so bad. The doctor even have to give me his number, number that they don't release like that because of my, the way he saw me. So, thank God to cut the long story short, I, I was, I even told that I said, Daddy, I'm just praying because they booked this uh, CS on for Wednesday. I'm just praying that the Lord will just do his miracle before that Wednesday that will just give birth. But thank God, because even during the old thing, as I was praying and praying and praying, the Lord asked me a question. He said, among the people that have given birth recently, has anyone given birth on Sunday? I calculated. I remember almost everybody, one Thursday, one Tuesday. I remember everybody, and I was like, no, none has given birth on Sunday. He said, you will give birth on Sunday. So I thank God that that Sunday, the Lord showed up. <laughs> thank God that Sunday showed up. And, hallelujah. And even... And even the fire bread, after the delivery, even what they said was that I cannot find it again. I want to give God all the glory. Praise the Lord. Uh, I'm not saying something. I'm not saying the same thing. I just want to thank God for his faithfulness for my wife. Thank God for faithfulness for our life. It was um, this fiber of a thing we are talking about is... It was strange. I, had, I was supposed to meet a doctor on a Monday, but the Lord did his thing on a Sunday, and the doctor we didn't see again on a Monday. And on Wednesday, too, that was the date scheduled for the operation. It never happened. I met the nurse, the midwife that conducted the delivery. I asked her, I said, but the doctor said these things were there. And they asked, she asked me a question. She said, which thing? The child that has tires that came out without any stress. He said it's one of the simplest deliveries she has conducted without much blood and so on. It shows that God is indeed faithful. Thank you. Sir. I know you did not hear that testimony. Can you just in one minute give God thanks? Just thank him. Thank him quickly. 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 What a miracle. What a miracle. What a miracle. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. That's what God does. He's a mighty, mighty, mighty God. Thank you, Lord. While you are thanking God, stretch your hand to the baby and begin to tell the Lord that every name that this child is named is a baby girl. That today the names will work for her. As we conduct this spiritual ceremony, Jesus will establish his will, his plans, and his purposes concerning her. Come on, stretch forth your hands. Pray, 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 pray. Decree that every word we speak over her today becomes the platform upon which God will establish her in destiny. Every other thing that has been spoken concerning her we nullify right now. Every strange altar that exists, whether it's from her father's lineage or her mother's lineage, we command them to be silent, to be destroyed, and we erect the altar of the great and mighty God tonight. We bring her into the covenant that is in Christ. At the appointed time, she will serve Jesus. As she grows older, it will be obvious that the hand of the Lord is upon her. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for you do great things. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. So according to her mother and father, by inspiration of the Holy Spirit, and after careful, careful, deliberate inquiry to the Lord, they have named her as follows. Our job is to put a seal on the names. Hadassah. Hadassah. Directly translated as a metal tree, but it means a monument of love, grace, power, and faithfulness. <laughs> Apart from the name Hadassah, she shall also be called Powe. Powe. Powe, which means joy. She shall also be called Imaobong. 
Imaobong, which means God's love or King's love. She shall also be called Eliphalet. Meaning, God delivers me. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. So rise on your feet as we name Hadassah. So you repeat after me quickly, quickly, quickly. And she shall be called Hadassah. Owe, Imaobong, Eliphalet, Hadasa, Owe, Imaobong, Eliphalet, Hadasa, Owe, Imaobong, Eliphalet. The daughter of, repeat after me, the daughter of brother and sister. Savior Williams in the name of God the Father in the name of God the Son in the name of God the Holy Spirit so shall it be in Jesus name come on celebrate God as you take your seat The next program, I'm wondering whether it's Anna's baby. Total liberation, okay. <laughs> it better be a boy, oh, because if you call a girl total liberation, then. <laughs> Praise God. Are you ready tonight? All right, just a quick recap before we go into tonight's teaching. Especially since I know that there are probably people who are joining us today for the first time and they did not, have not had the chance to listen to the first part of the teaching. If you are going to be able to flow with what God wants to do tonight, let me just provide you background. Remember that last week we, oh, sorry, sorry, I had forgotten. Thank you. We are supposed to take an offering for the baby. Please, let's do that quickly, quickly, quickly. Um, ushers, please release the offering basket, the first gift for the baby. First gift for the baby. And just in case you want to do it electronically, you can use um, our Access Bank account. If you don't know the Access Bank account, if you are sending it to the GTB, please label it baby so that we can send it to the parents. Please give bountifully. It's the first gift for the baby. Let's set a standard so that she will not get lower than this whenever God wants to bless her financially. It's our custom to take an offering for the baby. It's not going into the church. It is for the baby. We are giving the baby a gift. So while the offering baskets are going round, ushers, you know what to do when you are done. Um, I was saying to us that last week, the foundation upon which we tried to build the teaching, as Jesus helped us, is the understanding of what happens to us at salvation. You will not be able to understand the dynamics at play when you deal with addictions, when you deal with afflictions, when you deal with oppressions, when you deal with the wickedness of the devil, if you do not understand the implications of salvation. So what I tried to do by the help of the Holy Spirit last week was to show you that your initiating point as a mortal is the place of slavery, your initiating point. So what salvation actually is, is deliverance. 
Salvation in itself at the primary root of salvation is deliverance. And the scripture with which I try to establish that truth is Colossians chapter 1. Last week we began at verse 13, but today let's begin at verse 12 and um, see what the Lord was trying to say. Paul was saying, giving thanks to the Father who has done what? Qualified us. How did he qualify us? By the salvific work of Christ. He qualified us because if you were to judge as Gentiles, if we were allowed or qualified to be partakers of the salvation experience, we will not have been able to meet the minimum requirements to enjoy what is available in God. But the Father himself qualified us. How did he qualify us? By allowing his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. So God, in his attempt to redeem man, gave himself. You know, the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. But if you understand that the only begotten son is also God. So it is God giving God to die for man so that man will be what? Qualified. Man now has a place where he can become a partaker of the inheritance of the saints where? In the light. So it's on the basis of this I began to tell you last week that you need to understand that there are two kingdoms that exist in the visible realm. There are two kingdoms. There's the kingdom of Satan and there's God's kingdom. The reality of the kingdom of Satan is what? Darkness. The reality of the kingdom of God is... So when he says that he qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light, you now understand what I meant when I said salvation is actually a change of government. It's a change of government. Give me verse 13 in NLT. Verse 13, NLT. Let me show you. Now look at it. For he has rescued us from the kingdom of darkness. You know New King James says the power of darkness. And the way you can also translate power, you are talking about influence. You are talking about control. You are talking about jurisdiction. So everyone that is born into the visible realm is born under the jurisdiction of Satan. Under the influence of Satan. Under the control of Satan. And that does not change even if the person is morally upright. So if the person does not ever tell a lie, if the person does not ever fornicate, if the person does not ever steal, the person is still not qualified for the inheritance in the saints until that change of jurisdiction has happened. Are you with me? So somebody can be morally upright, die, and still go to hell because he did not experience this transfer personally. Now, I told you last week that when the Bible says he has rescued us, he's giving us a paraphrase of what happened that we call theologically redemption. Now, redemption is the umbrella term, the umbrella term for the salvific work of Christ. That means every mortal, every man on the face of the earth has been redeemed. Every man. Those of you that were in the all night on Friday, the vigil on Friday, you heard my wife during her prayer session recount an experience. We were just driving up to the tent and as our light shone on the road from the car, we saw a brother and a sister sleeping on the street like dogs. They were having sex. You know when Satan wants to finish your destiny, he reduces you to an animal. Like a dog. Like dogs on the road. You know, say, money not day to pay for hotel, so let's do it anyway. And the girl agreed. May the kind of appetite that will make you lose your dignity. 
never come upon you. Amen. Like dogs. So as, we, as the light shone upon them, the, bro, the brother, you know the brother owned the easy. He took off like a tornado. So it was the, it was the sister that was struggling to wear her, her trouser. Right? So even those two people that were fornicating at the corner of the tent, just close by, not the tent, oh. blood of Jesus. <laughs> blood of, we plead the blood, we plead the blood. <laughs> at the corner of the road, even those ones have been redeemed. It's a reality for every mortal. So redemption is a general umbrella. But the way you make redemption yours is that you accept the Lord's salvation. So everybody has been redeemed, but everybody is not yet saved. Are you with me? So everybody has been redeemed, everybody has been rescued. But this thing, this transfer, has not become everybody's reality. I now showed you how it becomes your reality. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10 that you will have to confess Jesus as your what? Your Lord. That is how it now becomes your personal reality. That is what we call salvation. So um, salvation basically is a change of government. Is you publicly declaring that I am no longer under the influence, no longer under the control, and no longer under the jurisdiction of Satan. The reason I wanted us to look at it like this is so that you see that it is from one kingdom to another word, kingdom. So even when the switch occurs, the same principles apply. That when you enter into the kingdom of light, you come under the influence, under the jurisdiction, and under the control of God. The problem with the Christian is we come out of darkness and we come into light, but we do not want God to control us. And all you need to do is study the lives of people like Paul and you'll be intrigued at the way Paul describes his relationship with God. In his epistles, his favorite title for himself was not apostle. It was a bond slave. A bond slave. Everybody knew Paul was an apostle. He was a great guy. He, he was sent of the Lord without doubt. But Paul somehow found joy in telling people that I'm not just an apostle. I am under control. I'm under government. I'm a slave. This desire to rule your own life that has become a plague in our generation is the reason why even people who speak in tongues are struggling with habits. We don't want the Holy Spirit to control us. So rather than submit to the government and the dealings of the Holy Spirit, the average Christian finds it easier to yield to the dictates of their own appetites. So the consequence of that uh, is that even sex has become an idol. Every human on the face of the earth now chooses who their God will be. So, sex has been idolized. Alcohol has been idolized. Sports have been idolized to the level that some people are in debt right now. You know why? Because of gambling. They're in debt. They've borrowed from this app Borrow from that app, borrow from that app, and the more they are borrowing, you know what is driving them? They say, I go so hammer. They are digging themselves into a deeper hole. 
You know why? They are not in charge. Greed. They are hiding under the cover of the fact that they enjoy sports, so they are betting on sports. But the true spirit that is responsible is called what? Greed. Go and check all these Ponzi schemes that have come in Nigeria in recent times. The larger population of the people that suffer from these Ponzi schemes are Christians. Huh? Somebody says, bring your 100,000. Every month, I'll be giving you 70% on your capital. Eesh. 70, you know what 70% is? That means every month, you'll be giving you 70K. Then the Christian carries his 4 million. Huh? Then he puts it there. He doesn't ask himself that which business in this life eh, will give you 70% every month. Then when you ask the people, you say, what do you people do? They say it's farming. That means the seed used to grow every month. <laughs> farming. Even farming has a gestation period. But the guy says, I will be giving you 70%. Then the Christian now thinks, if I put one million, 700,000 every month, then he puts it. The guy now goes and is robbing people to pay you. Then you now become his marketer. I say, oh boy, it they work. Then other people join. They join, they join, they join. When the man has gotten to his climax and made all the money he needs, one day you just go and click, click the app like this. Then the app, the network will now say, it seems there's something wrong with your network. <laughs> Sweat will break from your head like this. He has finished you. Go and check the majority of the people that suffer are Christians. How can you have Holy Ghost and you don't even have discernment? You don't even know, the Holy Ghost does not even control where you invest your money. I'm showing you the secret. It's a spirit. It's called greed. So the matters in the realm of the visible are matters of control. That's what I was trying to tell you last week. Control. And we read a scripture in the book of Second Peter where it said that whatever you make your, your, yourself a slave of is that thing that what? Controls you. So people are slaves of entertainment. Slaves of movies, slaves of pornography, and majority of these people are Christians. How can you have been transferred and yet your location has changed, but your reality is still the same? Do you understand what I'm saying? You have changed, your location spiritually has changed. You are brought into the kingdom of light. But when we look at your life, we, see, we still see the influence of Satan. We still see the control of darkness. We still see that you are under the jurisdiction of wickedness. So Satan can wake you up in the night, even after you've gone for vigil, and pray, ga, ga, ga. He can still wake you and say, masturbate. And you say, I'm weak. I'm weak. This masturbation wants to kill me. He wants to kill me. It will kill me. It will kill me. Then you masturbate. Then when you finish masturbating, you now come and you now cry, Lord, have mercy. Remorse is not repentance. That you are sorry for your sin does not mean you are ready to change. Anybody can be sorry for the things that they are doing, but the desire to change is actually the proof that you are willing to change. And not just desire. Once you have desire to change, you are determined to act your desire. Determined to act your desire. You know, when I, when I struggled with alcohol, struggled with smoking, in fact, right now, sometimes in my personal, personal, personal meditations, I think of my life many years ago. And I cannot believe, sometimes I cannot believe that I'm the same person. I can't believe. The pool of alcohol was so strong, so strong, that if I don't drink a bottle of star in a day, I will literally be feeling like I am sick. 
so strong. The pool of St. Maurice was so strong, so strong. If I had not smoked that menthol in a day, I would be like I'm sick. We used to wake up at 12 a.m. and go and knock on people's window. Madam, madam. Because if you don't smoke that thing, you can't sleep. You can't sleep. The pool for sexual immorality was so strong, so strong. To the point, my dear brother, we got to a point where we used to say, even dirty water, they quench, quench fire. You know the meaning of that thing? That when you are born in with sexual immorality, if you don't see the type you like, anyone is okay. Anyone. Anyone is okay. Find, find anybody. Find anybody. Because I'm going to die. So sometimes when I sit down and I imagine my life now, I cannot even try to explain how am I like this? You know the thing is, when I desired to change, all I did was cut a covenant with God. You have rescued me. Yes, I have. As for me, as long as your grace is available, I am determined that I will rather die. So when a strange urge comes upon me, I will walk to the public. You know you, you think you are a strong man, so you stay in the room. And then you are, you are pretending as if you are fighting a war. You are not ready to take the steps necessary to enforce your deliverance. So God said to Cain, he said, sin lieth where? And the desire of sin is to do what? Control you. To master you. But you must turn around and do what? Master it. So last week I was trying to show you how sin masters a man. And I, showed, I told you that there are three dimensions. That's where I'll begin tonight. The first force that sin deploys against a man is his flesh. What did I say is the first force? The first force is his flesh. So let's look at some scriptures. Galatians chapter 5, 19 to 21. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 19. Just stay tonight. Let's teach a little. Wherever we stop, we stop. Galatians 5, 19 to 21. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness. Those of you that have been around long enough, I have taught you. Hmm? Just study your Bible carefully, you will see that I'm not just trying to be poetic. Every time the Bible wants to list sins, it always begins with what? Sexual sins. And why did I say it begins with sexual sins? Because sexual sins are what? Gate opening sins. You've been attending Bible study. Sexual sins are what? Gate opening sins. Once you find somebody who is a slave of sexual sins, there is nothing else that that person cannot do. Sexual sins open the door in the spirit. It is the easiest way that Satan uses to enforce the reality of the kingdom of darkness on a man. If Satan wants to stop you as desperately as he wants to, he wants to stop you, he will leave other things. He will not tempt you to steal. He will, not, he will try to see if he can lead you on the pathway of sexual immorality. He knows that if he gets you there, your spirit becomes porous. Every demon, even demons that are on IT, that are not yet ranking demons, any spirit can easily access. That, that person becomes a portal in the natural. So when you are masturbating, you think you are pleasuring yourself. You are opening a gate. It's a gate. When you look at pornography, your flesh is excited. But you don't know what you have done is that you have opened what? A gate. When you fornicate eh, or you commit adultery, now it's so popular now among young people. 
married women are sleeping with young boys now. It's, it's, it's like a normal thing. Normal thing. You will think that you are enjoying yourself, but what you are doing is that you are opening a gate. Some of you now, you are having strange dreams. All kinds of people are coming in your dreams and sleeping with you in the dream. The reason you continue to struggle is that a gate has been opened. And the realm of the spirit is legalistic. If you are the one that used your hand to open the gate, eh, Satan will take advantage of that access and he will hold on to it until the Lord shows you mercy. So the Bible says, the works of the flesh... That means there's nothing good that comes out of your flesh. Every time flesh walks, it produces these results. So when flesh has finished walking, the way you know flesh is that the evidences of flesh are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness. Next verse. We're going to 21. Idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, Jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies. 21. Envy, murders, drunkenness, reveries, and the like. Of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not what? So you cannot be in the light and we find these practices in your life. These practices are a sign that there is a taskmaster at work in your life. And that taskmaster is called what? Flesh. So every time you yield to a sexual temptation, you are activating flesh. When you yield to alcohol, drunkenness, you are activating flesh. One of sin's most potent weapon is the flesh. You know why? You can't run away from it. It is your garment. If you don't know how to discipline it, it will rule you. Flesh has its, work, its works. Flesh has its appetites. It means that, just over here, it means that if you leave flesh, eh, it will be looking for opportunity for fornication. Hmm? Try it now. Just be alone with a sister in the house. Eh? And let it be a sister that you have been liking. Eh? You have been liking her. That brother is a suspect. Let it be a sister that you have been liking. Out of nowhere. Two of you are just alone. You may not even be alone. Eh? You can just close Bible study, and then while they are trying to turn off the generator, they are packing things. Two of you just sit at the back and you say, um, Angela, how was your week now? That two of you are just alone. You will just notice that flesh will begin to give you ideas. Eh? Flesh has its own desires, and it will communicate those desires to you but you are the one to choose whether to obey it or not. The way people became, become slaves and addicts is that when flesh suggests, instead of them to shut it down, they take a posture of weakness and respond to the suggestions of their flesh. And I've taught you before, Every time you gratify your flesh, you empower it to enslave you. Every time, every time, flesh gives you a suggestion and you accept that suggestion and you gratify it, you satisfy the longings of the flesh. What you have done is that you have put one padlock on the gate as a slave. You empower flesh to enslave you by responding to his desires. Envy, murders, he says, wrath, uncontrollable wrath. 
If you are struggling, you have become a slave of your anger. A slave of your anger. And then you say, Lord, this anger wants to destroy me. You know that I'm not talking about anger that people get angry. Oh. There are some people that when they are angry, they are like demons. Have you met those kind of people? Demons. You know. You, you, you just know. How do they say it? Worry, this is your kind anger. Not be, this one is not normal. The thing about that thing is, the minute you begin to pray that prayer, you will think that the way God is going to save you is that he will now prevent you from getting angry. Now lie. The minute you start to pray, deliver me from my anger, he will look for the worst place and put you there. He will just put you there. Where, the way you were before, you only, only used to get angry once a month. He will now put you where they will be provoking you in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night. Even when you want to sleep, they will provoke you. He wants you to, be, to come to a place where the emotions are not the problem. You get to a place of control. To say, I will not respond to it. That is how deliverance comes. The man must choose who to obey. Will it be flesh or will it be the Holy Spirit? And you see this battle I'm talking about will go on as long as you are in this world. Will go on. These temptations to yield to the flesh will go on. Somebody can come and talk to you anyhow and your pride will rise. At that time, the Holy Spirit will caution you and say, don't say a word. But flesh will come and say, non so of yesterday. <laughs> Wait, look in face again, then you do like this. They <laughs> don't non so look him. Non -so, non hey, God. Then you now start hearing things like, if not be say, I know Jesus. Oh, God, you have already fallen. <laughs> you are falling. You don't need any explanation. The Bible says, like a lamb to the shearers. They took him to his death and he opened not his mouth. That is our Jesus. They struck him. He didn't strike back. You don't understand. You see, when people read scriptures, you read it like storybook. Eh? A mortal struck the lion and the lamb. Struck him. <laughs> oh my God. The one that was the agency for creation. By him, all things were created. All things. A mortal opened his five fingers like this and struck him. Do you know that if Jesus as much as taught it in his heart, that that hand should be paralyzed, it would have been paralyzed. The man struck him and was still doing like this. Ah. Jesus never fought back. Never. Because to respond to the suggestions of the flesh is an application for slavery. You are saying, enslave me. Finish my life. And flesh is a terrible master. Don't believe me. Don't, don't believe me. Just go and read uh, 1 Samuel chapter 12. Don't believe me. Just go and read. It tells us the story of David. If you've not bought my book, Naked Flesh, it's at the bookstand tonight you can buy. I deal with this story in that book. David, do you know, just go and read his story. David's story was so beautiful, so dramatic, so clean, so sweet. David. So glorious. He entered into a cave. Eh? Entered into a cave. And his, his, his men said, God has delivered your enemy into your hand. And David drew his knife. And crept. He was such a stealth warrior. I don't know what kind of people saw was people in that a man trekked to come to your back. He didn't know. I mean, that kind of people not cash you. <laughs> hmm? 
He didn't know. David got there and raised the knife. He was going to kill Saul. He left where he was and made that journey with one intention to finish Saul. But the Bible says he raised the knife and his heart smote him. And instead of stabbing Saul, he now took the knife and cut off a piece. He, they were even cutting his garment. He didn't know. Saul was a finished man. He was only just walking around like he was living. He was finished. They cut off his garment. The question, my brother, is when he now stood on the, on the rooftop that day and saw another man's wife, why did his heart not smite him? What had happened to that heart? The one that smote him in the cave. You know people grow in God and then begin to take their consecrations for granted. They think they are big men of God now. They have arrived. God warned you that you don't watch movie. Don't watch. Don't watch. You have grown now. Your subscription of, on Netflix, you have paid for five years ahead. <laughs> five years. And all you need to do is look at the videos that come on Netflix. I think, I'm not saying it is true, but I think that one of the things that qualifies a movie to be on Netflix, it must be, it must be X-rated, it must be foolish. If they are not showing homosexual relationships, the nudity and the foolishness in the movie is almost, is almost top-notch. Even the Nigerian movies that are going there, they want to show all their body, all their breasts, everything is everywhere. God warned you, but you felt you have grown. Then you stood on the rooftop. You know that David's story is very painful. It's very, very painful. God so blessed David that day that the messenger that was with him was a man of honor. He was not a coward. So David sent him and said, Who be that woman? See how she fresh. Bring her. The brother came back, looked at the king and said, she is another man's wife. What mercy do you want God to show you again? When he sent the messenger, he did not know. But the messenger came back, looked him eyeball to eyeball. You know what the messenger was doing? Oh God, you are the king of Israel. Oh. This one is forbidden. She is another man's wife. The heart that smote David in the cave, I expected that the heart would smite him and say, Ah! Wife? I beg, go. I beg. I don't want to touch. Do you know his response? Go and bring her. After that point, go and read David's story. A disaster. One mistake damaged his testimony. Some of you are struggling now because of one wrong choice. Some people made that one wrong choice and they came out with a child. Until now, till now, they cannot forget that they made a mistake. I've told you the story of a young man that made one wrong choice. One was in my school. Graduated as a leader in fellowship. I think it was president. Sir. Went to village to stay with his grandparents. Saw a beautiful girl in the choir in the village. Decided that he would chop and clean out. He would just fornicate in the village and come back to the city and say, let's, let, let's push prayer. Let's push prayer. You know, you know, you know, we cannot be looking at worry like this. The territory needs Jesus. He wanted to do things in the secret and come back as usual. Like something, I will arise as other times. One, one mistake, one. He came back from the village with HIV. One. When he was sharing the story, he was crying like a baby, crying, crying. Just it's one time. Somebody that made a vow to God that he will not fornicate he will marry as a virgin. 
Satan was waiting for him. Satan was waiting patiently. You know, it's you that is in a hurry. Satan has time. He can camp on your lust for 15 years. He will camp there. He sees the way you are petting it. When you see sister's lap, you go and dream of it when you get home. Say, eh, so he like lap. It's okay. He's watching you. He will see you wake up in the middle of the night. You are watching a movie and people get naked. He sees the way you are responding. He says, ah, he will come there. He can be there for 17 years. He's not in a hurry. Then one day they will leave a, a five-year-old child. It was in the news, though. I'm not telling you fables. A proprietor of a school. Proprietor of a school. They left a five-year-old child. The parents delayed in coming. Then flesh came to the door. I said, this girl, wait, wait, wait first. How does a five-year-old girl become attractive to a man? Five-year-old. Five-year-old girl. As if that was not enough. If he only touched her, we would say, okay, he touched her. Even though that is madness. He tried to penetrate the five-year-old girl and found out that she was too tight because she was a child. He took a scissors. Yes. It was in the news. He took a scissors and expanded it so he can penetrate. Now, some people are like, ah, you've done worse. It's just that your own is not yet on the news. <laughs> worse. Now, you will think that that thing was a mistake. Flesh has been coming to tempt him. And he has been yielding. He has been yielding. He has been yielding. Then once you yield consistently, you now lose control of your will and senses. A spirit now takes over. And once a spirit takes over, the spirits are not the Holy Spirit, so they are not merciful. <laughs> what they will use your eye to see. You think a, a woman in her normal senses will go and have sex with a dog? Eh? You don't know that something else has... It began with little, little things. That Genesis chapter 4 that we read, wait, wait, just look at it carefully. Like I was telling them where I ministered this morning, look at it carefully. Eh? Is it Abel that rejected Cain's offering? What was his anger with Abel? What, what did Abel do to him? Have you ever wondered? The person will vex you. You know if you fight him. Now me, me, your power reach. What, what was Abel's offense? What was his offense? Is, and you see, the reason God rejected Cain's offering is that God could see his heart. That is a wicked man. That's why the Bible says God rejected Cain and his offering. The man was rejected first. Because when you bring your offerings in your hand, what God is looking at is your heart. If what is in your hand does not mirror the condition of your heart, he knows your life is false. The Lord knows those that are his. He knows. He rejected the man and said, then, and you know God is not wicked. God now looked at him and said, oh God, why is your countenance falling? If you do right, why did God speak about doing right? Because it is out of the abundance of the heart a man's living is produced. Your doing is a product of the condition of your heart. He was trying to tell Cain, fix your heart. Your heart is black. If your heart changes, you will begin to walk the right path. And if you do right, will you not be accepted? Go and read it he didn't say, will your offering not be accepted? 
if you do right, will you not be accepted? My brother, the question is, between that verse eh, and the next verse, what happened to Cain? God came and spoke to him and told him, do right. I thought he would leave the presence of God and go and and go and uh, sit with the Lord and breathe on the things that God had told him. But he left that meeting and went to look for Abel to kill. You know there are people who come for Bible study, they say, they say eh, this man likes to just preach hard things. He should just preach the gospel. What is the gospel? What is the gospel? The gospel is not complete if you don't first of all talk about the depravity of man. This is the gospel. One, man is depraved. Man has a sickness. And the sickness is not poverty. The sickness is not cancer. Man is sick. What is the sickness? Sin. Because of the sickness of man, God provided an opportunity for escape. It's called the forgiveness of God. Now, on the basis of the forgiveness of God, man is expected to live in loyalty to God. So God brings you out of your depravity. He puts you in a location in the spirit. It's called in Christ. Are you with me? The Bible says, if any man be where? In Christ is a spirit location. He puts you in Christ. So you now begin to live in Christ. But the proof that you are in Christ is that you will also live for Christ. It's not enough that you are living in Christ. You must also be living for Christ. Why? The end of the gospel is if you don't live for Christ, you will be judged in eternity. So the story of the gospel is depravity, forgiveness, and judgment. You can't have the com complete gospel if it doesn't go through that route. Judgment is part of the good news. The good news is that we will be rewarded if we overcome. He that overcomes all the things fighting your ability to live a holy life, you have to overcome it. So you will come to the judgment seat of Christ to receive rewards. If you refuse to live for Christ, you will also suffer judgment. That's the gospel. People will hear it and still go and gamble. Flesh has become their God. The appetites of the flesh have become their controlling power. That's why homosexuals are growing in our ranks. Lesbians growing in our ranks. Sexual immorality like you have never heard before. Growing around church. Growing. People are yielding to the flesh. Yielding to the flesh. Drunkenness. Reveries. You know the generation we have now can't sit down for five hours Bible study. Do you know? Can't sit down. They will complain. It's too long. It's too long. Wait till the man they talk for five hours. Not be Bible. Just give us a powerful word, a shot of the word. <laughs> what do we want to be doing? Talk. Do you know the early church they met every day? The kind of programs that sell in this generation now are worship meetings. Take a poster, put seven or 70 worship artists. Huh? Everybody will come. The last one that held in our city, I began to get feedback. Someone was sharing with me today, let me not say his name because, so that they don't come after him. Me, I can take the heat. It's my calling. At the back of the meeting, people had a table where they were, they were did they shy you? As they are doing, they put one for mouth for the road. 
they were, they were getting high. Some came out of the meeting. You know where they ended the meeting? NRA Junction. NRA Junction. My gen- There's nothing wrong with worship meeting. No. Don't hear what I did not say. I'm trying to tell you that there's a generation rising. Eh? They don't like truth. They don't want to sit with the word. You know why? Their flesh is alive. It's looking for opportunity to express itself. Romans chapter 7 verse 15. Stay with me. We'll soon be done tonight. I can't finish tonight. It means that a holy life and sanctification and legal open doors will be first Sunday in December. But let's see what we can do tonight. Now, this is Paul describing his journey with flesh. He says, for what am I doing? I do not, I do not understand. For what I will to do, that I do not practice. But what I hate, 16. Go with me, we are going to 25. Quick, quick. If then I do what I will, will not to do, I agree with the law that it is what? Next verse. But now, it is no longer I that do it, but what? That dwells where? Tap your neighbor. Tap, tap your neighbor. Tap your neighbor. Say, in this your flesh. Sin is alive and well. Paul says, sin dwells in me. And that sin is the same sin that God told Cain in Genesis. He said that he's looking for occasion to do what? To master you. 18. For I know that in me, that is where? Nothing good, what? For to will is present with me, but how to perform what is good? Jesus. So you are in this struggle. You want to do what is right. The unbeliever will never be able to find strength to do what is right. Our only hope is to yield to the Holy Ghost that is at work in us. Next verse, 19. For the good that I will to do, I do not do. But the evil I will not do, that I practice. 20. Now, if I do what I will not to do, it's no longer I who do, do it, but what? He's telling you now that when you get to this point, you are no longer in charge. That is what is called the deception of sin. What did I say it's called? When you want to start playing with sin, sin will tell you that you are in charge. So you will hear things like, any time I want to stop, I will stop. That's how he has become an addict to betting. So I just, I'll just look at it and walk away. Sin is just looking for you to give it one opportunity. Then you start like you're in control. But it will get to a point that it is no longer you that is doing it. Sin has become your master. You are now a slave. So people will fornicate. When they finish, they are crying. But give them two days. They are back again looking for boys on the streets. It's no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. 21. I find then a law that evil is present with me, the one who wills to do good. This your flesh is with you all the time. You can't run away from it. You will to do good, but evil is what? Present. Next verse, 22. For I delight in the law of God according to the inward man, but I see another law where... What are your members? Your body, your flesh. Warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of what? Which is where? Next verse. Oh, wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? This was the cry of a man that recognized that he's a weak man. Who will deliver me? There are people who have come to this meeting. They are crying like this. I hear this kind of cries many times. People will send me a message on WhatsApp and say, I'm dying. 
Sir, help me. Who will deliver me? It's not a hopeless case. Next verse. I thank God. Through Jesus Christ, our what? Lord. It's a matter of government. Through Jesus Christ, our master owner. The way you escape is that you surrender to his government totally. He begins to control you. So you are not running away from sin because sin is bad. Because sin eh, is pleasurable. The Bible says concerning Moses that rather than enjoy what? The pleasures of sin. If it's, that, if it's a matter of whether it's good or bad, you will, you will never leave it. The matter is you have another Lord. You have another king. You have another owner. Flesh cannot control me. Romans 13, 14. Last scripture on the flesh. Then we dive. Romans 13, 14. But do what? So even though you still have your physical flesh as a garment, what you do is that you put it off and then you wear another garment. And what is that garment? The Lord. You are not understanding. <laughs> the Lord. Jesus Christ. So when the appetite comes in the middle of the night and all your body is aching, you will tell yourself, I do not serve you. I have another God. You put on the Lord Jesus Christ and then you do what? Make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its loss. You know, I've always read this scripture and I understand what the Bible is saying. But two days ago, I think it was Saturday, I was in my study and the Lord said, look at that word provision, provision. All King James says, make no room. Hmm? But New King James translates it provision. Ah! So I went and I looked up the word in the Greek. It is the Greek pronoia. P-R-O, that's Papa Romeo Oscar November Indigo Alpha. That's P-R-O-N-O-I-A. November Oscar Indigo Alpha. Eh? Pronoia. You know what it means? To have a forethought. Hmm. To have a forethought. The lexicon says to make providence, to cater for. Let me read it. Let me show you something. Are you getting blessed tonight? To have a forethought to make provident care or supply. So I went to look up the word provident. It means to plan carefully for the future. <laughs> so when he says make no provision, what he's saying is don't be preparing yourself for the right environment to gratify your flesh. Some people prepare themselves for sin. They know that what they are doing is stimulating all kinds of emotions. They continue. What you are doing is that you are making provident supply. You have carefully thought of the future. And then you are initiating structures now that will guarantee that flesh is gratified. That's how some of you became weak. The fornication looks like you were helpless. How did you become helpless? What did you do as providential care that weakened your will to say no? What did you do? What did you do? Some people will say, eh, 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 I'm, I'm a homosexual because I was born a homosexual. It's in my genes. There's nothing like a homosexual gene. The matter of homosexuality 
is not biology. The matter of sin is not psychology. As much as the devil is powerful, and we don't have the time tonight, I will deal with that next week. As much as the devil is powerful, and he has his role to play in these matters, many times, men have become slaves by providence. They carefully made provision. You know how you go and stock your store for the future? Eh? They say foil, foil scarcity, foil scarcity, foil scarcity. Nupeng is going on strike next week. Then you go and buy foil eh? and leave it in gallons and say, when the scarcity comes, I will use. That's what he's talking about by provident supply. Forethought. Many of us have fed ourselves with all kinds of lust and you are wondering why you continue to see pictures of sexual immorality in your dreams. Some brothers can be very useless. Any small thing, they are touchy, touchy. Every sister around them, they want to be touching her body. You don't know what the brother is doing. He's filling his storehouse. Filling his storehouse. He never talked to sister rich and say, see your fine hair. Or God, leave her hair alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> leave it alone. You are sitting down, there's no chair. He says, sister, come and sit on my lap. After all, we are brethren. Providential care. All kinds of movies are on your phone. You have not fornicated yet. But what you are doing is that you are filling your storehouse. It's only a matter of time. Flesh will rule you. You don't like betting. What are you doing on betting sites? What are you doing there? You don't like alcohol. But you are surrounded with all the people in your life are drunkards. It's only a matter of time. Providential care. Any sister God sends your way, you have turned mentorship relationships into sexual relationships. Nobody is safe around you. What is attractive in a five-year-old? God help my heart. Don't let me say things that I will regret. A five-year-old. Then you even attempted to penetrate her and God so kind you took scissors. How does a man get to that? It's called provision. Provision. I need to ask you tonight, what provisions have you made? What loopholes have you kept quietly? Quietly. Which Hagar have you carried from Egypt that is growing in your house? Growing in your finances. Growing in your self-control. You are making excuses for it. Then when you begin to struggle now, you will come and say, you don't know why Satan is doing you like this. You are the one that made provision. I'm dwelling here because this is man's biggest struggle. The struggle with his flesh. The second tool that sin uses is the world. I'll read one scripture. 1 John 2, 15 to 17. The second tool is what? The world. 1 John 2, 15 to 17. Let's go quickly. I want us to have at least 10 minutes to pray. Do not love the world or the things of the world in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not where? It's not in him. For all that is in the world... The loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, the pride of life is not of the Father, but is what? 17. And the world is what? And the lust of it. But he who does the will of God does what? Give me NLT, quickly. NLT, NLT. Go to verse 16. Verse 16. For the world only offers what? Offers only what? A craving for what? What is the second thing? 
a craving for everything we want. And pride where? These are not from the Father or from the world. One of the most potent tools of the world at this time is the media. Media. Whether it is social media, whether it is traditional media, television, radio, is a potent force. Many lives have been sacrificed because the world is projecting a craving for physical pleasure. Craving. You can't even, you can't even, if you say you want to watch comedy, because some people feel that I'm extreme. Say, so we'll just be living in this world. So a Christian cannot even be entertained. Okay. Say you want to watch comedy. You want to listen to comedy. Look at the things that they share. How does that help your soul? Eh? A grown man says he's doing comedy and his emphasis is the shape of women's bodies. A craving for physical pleasure. The world. Go to their movies now. Go to their movies. What is in the movie? The world. He says, all it offers, craving for physical pleasure. And this craving has killed some people. Some of you, desires have crippled you. That's how your prayer life has died. But the lion and the lamb tonight, he wants to bring you deliverance. I hear him saying to me, he said, I want to make somebody whole. Some of us, our lives have become damaged like that, that, like that, that clay that became damaged on the wheel of, a potter, of the potter. But God can make you again. If not, if not that God had the ability to make a man again, how could I ever have become a preacher? You don't know the cracks that were in my life. You don't know the damage. The damage. It got to a point in my life, I was weeping in prayer. I said, Lord, I don't deserve a good woman to marry. Don't give me a good woman. I looked at the things I had done. I said, don't give, if you give me a prostitute, I will marry. That is the level I deserve. My life was battered, bruised, damaged. It's the only me that Satan put homosexuals on ground to abuse. I was struggling with that one. I was staying with an uncle. House girl will not leave me alone. I was a young boy. You know, they don't want to talk about sexual abuse that happens to young boys. They talk about girls, girls. You, if some of us open our mouth and tell you what we have been through as men, today is International Men's Day. Some men you are looking at are survivors. But that damaged me completely, finished my mind. He said me. But somehow, Satan was working over time. God was just waiting patiently. It doesn't take God eternity to do something that is eternal. No. He was waiting patiently. The day I cried like Peter. You know, Peter was sinking and he kept his mouth closed. He was about to drown. Then all of a sudden, he lifted up his eyes and he saw Jesus. And he cried out. He said, Master, save me. Jesus said, I've been waiting. Kesena, I've been waiting. I put my hand in his hand. It has taken a while. Because I wanted to show you tonight that spiritual growth is not instant. There is something that is called progressive sanctification. It takes time for God to make a man. When he pulls you, something else will be pulling you back down. He will be dragging you. The good thing is that if you keep your hand in his hand, he will not let go. Many times, the reason people sank is not that God let them go. They let God go. 
I grabbed him like Jacob. I won't let you go. I held him. So even when flesh will be drawing me back, I will be struggling. Lord, my life is in your hand. I'm not a dog. I won't go back to my vomit. I know I masturbated again yesterday, but weeping may endure but for a night. I refuse to die like this. If you raise men that walked out of immorality, I must walk out. I must walk out. I began to learn how to say no. When the pressure becomes too much, I'll say no. The one day I found out that I was no longer in the river. That I was now walking side by side with Jesus. We were walking on the water together. Then Jesus was saying, Kesena, see what I want to do with your life. And then I looked at where I was coming from and I said, if it had not been the Lord on my side. <laughs> what will Israel have said? Who dash monkey banana? That this cultist, former cultist, will be a preacher. I say to you tonight, there is nothing Satan has done to your life that is an excuse for you to be an addict. Nothing. Put your hand in his hand. The last instrument of sin is called Satan and his devils. And we don't have time to read it because I want us to pray for 10 minutes. Exodus chapter 3 from verse 7. The Bible says that God came and he said, I have heard the cry of my people and I have seen their sorrow. And why are they crying? And why are they sorrowful? On account of their taskmasters. That's the prayer I want to give you tonight. He said, I have certainly seen the oppression of who? My people. Where? In Egypt. I have heard their cries of distress because of their harsh what? Yes! I am aware of what they are suffering. Give me New King James. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt and I have heard their cry because of who? For I know what? We have not a high priest that cannot be touched by the feelings of our infirmities. He was tempted in all points. Just as we are. Yet. He's without sin. You know what I want you to do tonight? Cry like Israel. You know what I did bro? 400 level. My storehouse. My food. Had finished. I had nothing. And then I made up my mind. As people were going, then I was still struggling. I'd, I'd rededicated my life to God, but certain appetites were still waging war, especially women. So everybody went home. We're moving from 300 level to final year. So when everybody had gone, I stayed in the hostel. No food. So I put myself on fasting. You know you are not desperate. <laughs> I put myself on fasting. Every day I will wake up, I will pray. Lord, this thing wants to kill me. This thing wants to kill me. That's when you begin to cry on account of your taskmasters. They are unclean spirits. They are spirits of immorality that have been released into the world and their primary assignment is to enslave men, conquer them so that they are useless to God, useless to themselves, useless to their generation. One of the days, I don't know what came over me. It's like I cried from my sleep. It was like I woke up to see tears falling from my eyes. I cried from my sleep. I was listening to certain men of God at that time in my life. I can't talk about them now because I don't trust them anymore. So you, you don't go and say I made a recommendation. And some of the messages I heard, I was provoked. I cried from my sleep. I woke up. I didn't know what was happening to me. I stripped myself naked. Naked. Then I stood there with my fist to heaven. 
I said, if you don't save me from this thing, it will kill me. I don't know how long I prayed, but I cried. I cried. That was the beginning of my deliverance. There is no deliverance without first of all petition. You must first of all recognize that you need help. And then you cry to God. There's a brother here in this place here. This place, that place there. Gambling has finished you. If I press further, I can walk to where you are sitting and touch you. Gambling has finished you. You are a slave. And now you no longer have willpower to break free. But David said, I cried unto the Lord with a loud voice. I don't want you to stand yet. First five minutes, bow your heads and cry. Tell him, Lord, this thing wants to kill me. You see, in this kind of meetings, people are ashamed. <laughs> They don't want to say anything. They, they are forming pious and sanctimony. If you don't have any matter to cry about, at least beg God, may I never become a slave. On site, online, cry. Daddy, save me. This fornication, it wants to kill me. This adultery. There's a man that is listening to me now. I can't tell if you are in this hall or you are online. Adultery has finished you. Beg God. They cried unto the Lord by reason of their taskmasters. What were they crying? Lord, save us now. Save us, we are your people. Young lady, your body is not for sale. Young lady, there is more to you than a fine face and breast and buttocks. There is destiny. There is ministry. There is the anointing. There is oil. There is more to you. Can you beg God? Tell him my flesh wants to kill me. The world wants to finish me. Media. I am a, I'm a slave to social media. I'm a slave to watching pornography. I'm a slave to watching movies. Daddy, save me now. Save me. You that delivered Israel out of Egypt, come and deliver me. There's someone online, whether you're on YouTube or Mixella, I don't know, but alcohol. I'm seeing that spirit. Alcohol has finished you. I feel fire in my belly. Make sure you are not just opening your mouth and, and, and joking. If you have nothing to fight for, it's okay. Pray for your brothers that are struggling now. But you, you that knows your taskmaster, call it by name. Don't be shy. You are in your father's house. Don't be shy. You can stand up now. Wherever you are, except you are kneeling down or lying down. Stand on your feet and pray. Cry out to God. Cry out to God. You don't have to live here the same way you came. So 
just as the Lord came down into Egypt, He wants to come down in this house tonight. Can I remind you that we have already overshot our time? If you don't pray quickly, the meeting will soon close. Can you beg God? Some of you, the taskmaster is not your flesh. It's not the world. A demon keeps visiting you in the night. Coming to have sex with you. Are you not tired? Are you not tired? Lord, deliver me. Call the taskmaster by name. This gambling, this alcoholism, this fornication, this smoking, this adultery, this pornography. You cannot kill me. You cannot destroy my life. I rebel against you. You strange spirit that has been chasing all the men in my family. You have destroyed all the men in my family. You cannot destroy me. This strange spirit, the time I get serious with God, that is when you will come and have sex with me and make me unclean. I reject you. I renounce you. I rebel against you. Somebody pray. Mighty deliverances are happening now. Pray your way out. Nobody needs to lay hands on you. As you are praying, prison doors will break open. over your life pray at the bro escapa la da da preta deo le la le la pria da da poco le la dia 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 la tro presina ma cobelo I refuse it. I reject it. I rebel against it. You have no hold over my soul. You have no hold over my spirit. You have no hold over my body. Is somebody pray? I see spirits that we check out tonight. That wickedness, that affliction that happens in your dream. There's somebody I'm talking to now. That dream is going to end today. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? I reject every taskmaster. Taskmaster from my father's house. Taskmasters from the decisions that I made. I know I was a thief before. I know I was a fornicator before. I know I was a drunkard before. Satan, that season has ended. I am under another government. Jesus is Lord over my mind. Lord over my body. Lord over my ministry. Jesus! I beg you to pray. La ka 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 ka. La ka 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 ka. 
Israel cried. I don't think this is the way they cried. Some people are looking, they are looking. say no you are being empowered to say no I will never be the same touch your grace life must change I will never be the same touch your grace I will never be the same Touch your grace My life has changed I will never Ushers be sensitive Don't let anybody get hurt I just saw a wave, a wave A wave of the move of God Some people will be overwhelmed I see one person that will begin to run The person is running out of a grave running out of a grave the person will begin to run catch the person and bring the person here catch that person bring them here I will never be the same I'm so sure my life must change I will never be the same I'm so sure my life must change
Where is that person that was running? I saw you in the spirit. If God has not identified the person yet, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, it's a reality. It's a reality. The person will begin to run. You are running out of a grave. Wherever you were buried in destiny, I uproot you by fire. destiny enter your destiny whatever hell you found you are loose you are loose as Lord it's a matter of government let him bring you out of the jurisdiction of Satan if not the prayers you have prayed were a waste of time I want to get born again I want to surrender to Jesus as Lord where are you come quickly come quickly come quickly Or your Christian life is in a terrible backsliding state. Check online for me. People should be getting born again online. Mix LR everywhere. Come quickly. Come quickly. Yes, God bless you, young man. Come. Come. That's right. Come. Come. I'm waiting for two people that need to be saved. God bless you. Ay, 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 ay. We, are, we are living here with raw fire, raw fire. Raw fire, raw fire. Ay, 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 ay. Come, come, come and get saved. On site, online. I want to make Jesus Lord. I want to make him love. <laughs> Lord, say Jesus, 
Come and be Lord of my life. Take over my body. Take over my soul. I didn't get the chance to show you what sanctification is. Sanctification is a war for your soul. I will show you. You will see it. Take over my soul. Take over my spirit. Take over all of me, Jesus. I submit to you as my God. I submit to you as my King. My God. I submit to you as my master. Come on, speak it, speak it. Open your mouth. Tell Satan, I don't serve you. I don't serve my flesh. I don't serve the world. I serve Jesus. I receive forgiveness for my sin. I enter into deliverance for my soul. From today, I decree that I am born again. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, behold your sons and daughters. We bring them before you. Hide them under the shadow of your wing. They have confessed Jesus as their Lord and Savior. I pray from today. Every strange spirit that has gained access is now dislodged. Jesus, you rule and you reign here. These ones will serve you all the days of their lives. From henceforth, sin shall no longer have dominion over them. They will not, they are now in Christ. But they will not only live in Christ, they will live for Christ. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Stand up, look at me, look at me, look at me, stand, stand, stand. Congratulations, listen, listen. Jesus has done the hard part. If you've been following the teachings for, for weeks now, you now need to begin to make the right choices. There are friends you need to disconnect with today. There are places you must stop going. Young man, I'm drawn to you. What's your name? Miracle. Indeed, you will become a miracle this generation Kai God give him what I have implicate this one steal him for destiny Ooh, the anointing is coming upon you I sense it a transfer is happening now you will walk the path of consecration you will do the will of him that sent you in the name of Jesus break some relationships today end some things today refuse to go there refuse to answer when the devil calls and you will see what God will begin to do please go there go there this young man needs to see you we need to take your names take your details your phone numbers we want to be talking with you please go there can we celebrate them Where you are, bring out your offerings. Bring out your offerings. Quickly, quickly. Let's close service. Remember, there is no service next week. But there will be vigil. And the vigil will be holding at the tent. So our prayer vigils continue, but we are not holding Bible study next week. We'll be meeting for Bible study on the 3rd, 3rd of December. To enjoy the presence of God and to continue this teaching. So as you are standing, give your offerings. If you don't carry cash like myself, you can do it electronically. The account details are being posted right now. They are being posted. They are being posted. Oh, here I am, down on my knees, surrendering all. Give your offerings quickly. Find me here as you draw me near.
God shall signal to me when you are done. from on the second and we will trust Jesus. I pray that the hand of the Lord be strong upon you this week. May you not only shine, may you also burn. May God give you the wisdom of the ancients. This week you will not be confused. You're going out, you're coming in blessed. From henceforth there is no room for Satan in your life men will look upon you and they will see the glory of the Lord. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Remember the Wari City Crusade? We need about 8.5 million Naira to be able to meet our budget of 10.5 million. We are giving for the crusade. We are giving for the building. As the Lord prompts you, please give. Media will put up the uh, account details. It's our Zenith Bank account. Give. Give bountifully. Like I've been telling us in the vigils, if you've given before, give again. Because we want to ensure that this crusade this year, Jesus shows us great mercy. So we are praying and we are giving. Please give. Give, give, give. For those of you online, if you want to give in other currencies, please just send us a message either on YouTube, or on Facebook or whatever. Reach out to us on, on um, Telegram and we'll give you the account details to use because this is a Naira account. So reach out to us. Please give. And the Lord bless you. T-shirts are still available, bah? So there are T-shirts. There are T-shirts. The T-shirt for the Worry City Crusade is 4,000. We went out for a rally yesterday. Even though I've not seen the report or the feedbacks, I'm sure that we had a great time. We're going to go out again. We're going to have another wonderful experience. We are going to markets. We wanted to do a medical outreach, but finances have been a challenge. But we will keep going. We still have about two or three more outreaches, rallies, join us so if you can get the t-shirt the t-shirt is just four thousand it's available we also have a book stand we have a book stand some of you have been attending this place you don't know i have books you don't even know that my father in the lord has books visit the book stand they are great books that will bless you bless you tremendously those of you online you can get apostle Aramis books on on amazon you can get my books on amazon and the lord will bless you richly have you been blessed tonight should we continue the series so pray with me. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they do comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anoints my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I didn't give anybody appointment, so don't wait to see me. Hmm? As I'm talking to you, as I leave here, I'm going into a vigil. I have appointment vigil tonight. I'm traveling to Makodi tomorrow, so please have mercy on me. If you need to reach me urgently, if your matter is urgent, see my personal assistant, give him your name and number, I will call you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.
these all first timers is coming from is there someone here to see you if you're a first timer Please, if you're a first timer, please just come to the right side of the hall. Someone is waiting here to see you. If today happens to be your first time at ROCN Worry, please make it to the right side of the hall. We are waiting to see.